Welcome to AEB's WMS Express solution. WMS Express is AEB's SaaS-based warehouse management that offers a suite of exciting standard functionalities for all customers. WMS Express is a great solution for customers who do not have an existing warehouse management system yet and will like to have a simple application to better manage their warehousing activities and inventory levels through a single application. Upon logging into WMS Express, the user will see the desktop area. The desktop area is divided into three sections, namely the assistant section on the right, the middle section consisting of three widget icons and the application menu on the left. The assistant section allows access to three general areas, which are the most recent put away and removal job lists processed as well as the general statistics. The widget icons in the middle section allow a user to have quick access to perform the most common tasks in the warehouse. They may put away products that are received, remove stocks from the warehouse locations or change the locations of stocks. On the left section of the desktop area is the application menu where access to different functions in WMS Express is possible. You may do so either via the icons or navigate through the full menu presentation. Quick access to functional areas is also possible with the help of the favorites. Before warehouse operations in WMS Express can start, the storage areas and bin locations need to be set up to mirror the physical warehouse layout. You start under the storage area, where you can set up the warehouse's layout in a hierarchical structure. All sub-storage areas down to the bin location can be created. It's important to note two points. Any sub-storage areas must be created within a selected storage area. Bin locations can be created from the second level onwards as part of an existing storage area. When creating a new bin location, details such as aisle, bin location type, side of the aisle and dimensions can be defined accordingly. Subsequently, all stocks will be stored at these bin locations. Once the bin locations are created, instead of going through multiple storage area levels above them, they may be accessed directly from the bin locations function under the menu. The other important area that needs to be set up is the warehouse products at the master data. This is where the general characteristics of each warehouse product are defined. When creating a warehouse product, it is possible to define different parameters such as quantity unit, batch controlled or shelf life expiration date. The owner of that warehouse product can also be preset. Four other types of master data can be found here. First, logistics clients. This master data setup is optional. As a warehouse operator, you may want to set up the logistics clients if the goods in your warehouse belong to different customers. Second, the bin location types setup allows you to set up various types or categories of locations that can be found in the physical warehouse. Thirdly, the stock types enable you to predefine the various possible status types of a particular stock. Lastly, the Packaging Types setting allows you to preset the outer package types for a particular product packaging or product per se. Next, the Client function allows you to set up the basic details of the warehouse. Some of the data set up here will be part of the document printout. The File Import enables you to import bin locations and product master data based on a given file structure into WMS Express quickly. The Users function here provides the possibility of managing some basic information about WMS Express users and their profile details.